Hello and good morning. No intro music today. Starting things off a little bit differently on the MKI Ultra Show. It's a morning, it's 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or wherever you are. If you're in India, it's 6 p.m. If you're in California, it's 5 a.m. But whatever the time is, the time is now. So be here now, 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 now. Now, uh, getting into a couple of things here, just trying out this morning pod energy flow. Quick sports updates for any people who are into sports but don't feel like spending money on cable, where you at? Telling you what, man, COVID's down, but inflation's on the rise, you know, and uh, me and my buddy were actually talking about it. Not only have things got more expensive, but the actual quantity has gotten smaller, like My box of cereal is smaller. He was saying that his roommate got a frozen pizza that he's always been getting. And it was smaller by the amount of calories. So they're fucking us, dude. They're they're jacking up the prices and lowering the uh, quantity. And that's that's what's going on with uh, with our economy right now. Stock market has hit a all-time low since uh, 2020. Uh, inflation's at a record high. It's like 8-something percent. And, uh, yeah, bananas are $47. So, But plowing along, talking about sports, we had the uh, UFC... 279 on September uh, 10th. That was Nate Diaz and Tony Ferguson. Tony was the favorite, for sure. Nate Diaz, though, he's dope as fuck. He's like, if I could hang out with any fighter in real life, it'd be Nate Diaz. I would just party with Nate and his... uh, Where's he from in California? Uh, Like the Sons of Anarchy area. Yeah, um... Stockton. Yeah, I would just hang out with him and his Stockton goons. Nate Diaz came out on top round four. He went, they almost went the full distance. Uh, In two minutes and 52 seconds, he submitted Tony Ferguson. So I actually did not watch that. Um, But it looks like he got him in a guillotine, which... Fuck yeah, go Mr. Diaz. I think that was his last fight on his uh, UFC contract because Dana White is uh, Jewish and doesn't pay his fighters enough. That's one thing that I can get down with um, believing is uh, the fighters definitely do deserve more money and they, I don't even think they get health care. You're getting kicked in the head for a living. So, um, also the NFL, that's like what Bill Burr does. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm in the fantasy football league with the Tim Dillon server. And to be honest with you, I didn't even realize it was week one. I thought it was still the preseason. That's how much I care about football. (laughs) <laughs> Sunday, September 11th, we had a lot of games. Uh, let's see, Thursday, September 8th was the opening game. That was the Bills and the Rams. Bills fucking destroyed the Rams. Uh, any of these teams I care about? No. See, I don't care about the Saints or Falcons because NFC East, I do pull for the Carolina Panthers. Dolphins beat the Patriots. Wow, that's a shocker. Uh, Lions lost. Bengals lost. 
damn. And the Panthers lost to the fucking Browns, 26 to 24. Wow. Who do they have? Oh, yeah, they got Baker Mayfield. Okay. Um, damn, Panthers lost. Who else? Uh, Giants won. Okay, New York Giants. Shout out, Giants. The, uh, the Vikings beat the Packers. Wow. The Vikers slaughtered the Packers, 23-7. Aaron Rodgers is probably my favorite quarterback in the league right now. It's because I like him, like what he stands for. I also like uh, Joe Burrow. He's just got swag. That kid's just dripping in swagger juice. You know, when Joe Burrow was born, he drove his mom home from the hospital. You know? Joe Burrow is so athletic that he can dribble a bowling ball. So that's pretty sick. Uh, Chargers, Raiders, the fucking California teams now. Or, well, the Raiders, what? Las Vegas. Is it that Las? Yeah, Las Vegas Raiders, LA Chargers. Can't keep up with these teams moving so much, man. Because um, it's the San Diego Chargers and the Oakland Raiders to me, man, you know? But the Chargers beat the Raiders. The Buccaneers whooped the Cowboys. Damn. How about them Buccaneers? Who else? Oh, well, they got fucking Brady, kid. They got the GOAT, of course. Uh, Seattle beat Denver. And uh, cool. Week one, football over. Chiefs, oof. The Chiefs fucked up the Cardinals 44 to 21. Patrick Mahomes. It's um, that's a mulatto miracle. <laughs> that's what I call Patrick Mahomes a mulatto miracle, man. That kid, half black, half white, and just full savage on the, uh, the quarterback front. Moving on, we got baseball. Here we go. So we're coming up on the postseason. This is where I can actually get into sports a little bit. Um, the fucking Yanks, they... Uh, They've been they've been whooping ass. They played the Red Sox. Let's see here on Tuesday, September thirteenth, and they won. They played them last night, September fourteenth, Wednesday. They won, and it looks like they don't play tonight. Yankees play Milwaukee away. On Friday, and uh, let's see if we played on Monday. Dude, baseball season is long. Those guys play so many games. Ooh, Sunday, September 11th, we whooped Tampa Bay. That's good. Good old 9-11 New York shutout. Wow. So baseball season is just too long to keep up with, and uh, I like to... I like to catch up with it around September, October, postseason, you know, playoffs, ALCS, all that shit, because it's the fucking Bronx Bombers, kid, judge, you know, so uh, we'll be updating you on Yankee scores, if you're into any other teams, I'm just not... I'm not a sportscaster, so I'm not going to talk about your favorite team unless your favorite team is the New York Yankees. Best team in sports all the way around. Not even best team in baseball. 27 World Series titles. Tell me any other team in any other sport in any other country that has that many titles. Most famous sports team by far. You know, I mean, you go to fucking China, they're wearing Yankee gear. You know, go Yankee! They don't even know what that is, you know. That was my attempt at a Chinese accent. Failed miserably. Good, man. Uh, drinking my coffee this morning. Take a sip of this real quick. Cool mug. It says one day at a time. One day at a time. So that's what I got to remind myself every morning. Wake up. When my feet hit the ground, try to take a couple deep breaths before I get out of bed. That will be the first step for preventing the thoughts, 
thought overload. Uh, you know, second step, drink some water. You know, because definitely after sleeping for eight hours, your your body is going to be dehydrated, and you have basically fasted for eight hours. All right. So drink a bunch of liquids, bunch of fluids. Take a piss. Get your coffee. Stretch a little bit. Move your body around, um, but also do a little bit of breathing and meditating. Maybe find a daily reading that you like. Not you, that I like. This is what I do. I'm not telling anybody else what to do. Uh, but if you're looking for suggestions, I guess you can listen to that. A um, lot of different spiritual texts that I like to read in the mornings, man. I used to read the uh, Tao Te Ching. They had a daily reading. Uh, right now, I'm reading the Daily Stoic. So that's like your Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius. Um, and, um, you know, those guys. Um, Epictetus and... Uh, who else are the big guys' names there? Yeah, the Stoic philosopher Seneca. Yeah, whatever. Those those are good. Those are good readings. Um, so I, I do read that. I also have the Jesus uh, Daily on my phone. Got the uh, NA just for today. So it's fun. It's fun to keep it exciting. You don't want to get too jesus out. You don't want to get too doubt out, right? You don't want to get too stoic out, so it's good to switch it up a bit, you know? Some months I'll be on my Jesus shit, next month I'll be on my Buddha shit, or my Tao, or Hindu, you know, it just, it varies. It varies. So, got a lot of things coming up here in the next month, and to follow... We have a big insurance season, October 15th through December the 7th, which means I will be working on the phones every day for 53 days, except for Thanksgiving, 8 to 12 hour shifts, because that is the annual enrollment period for Medicare. Ugh. That's also where I make most of my money, and then I get a whole month off of paid time. Last year, I went to Florida, spent some time in the Gulf Coast, Marco Island, um, and uh, what's that fucking place, man? I had a blast. I went down to Florida, and... Uh, yeah, I just I just mobbed around the Gulf Coast, man. I went to Marco Island. I went to uh, Naples, Fort Myers. Nice area. You know, I, I did want to take time to go out of the country, but we did have something called coronavirus, if you forgot, because they're trying to make us forget about it. I'll never forget what they did. I'll never forget what they did to us this last two years. It's like 9-11. Never forget. Well, this year's 9-11 was the least 9-11 I've ever seen. Like, there was no fucking... It was just the least 9-11. It was the most woke year in our country. And uh, don't believe me? Look up Calvin Klein ads from 1992. And then look up Calvin Klein ads from 2022. In that 30-year time span, you will be shocked. Yes, with the extra t. Because it's like Mark Wahlberg and some, you know, 10 goddess in Calvin Klein underwear in 92. Jacked, right? Looking... Swole and curvy, and then in 2022, just you'll have to look for yourself. You'll have to see for yourself. So, 
just checking in. How's your how's your week going? Hope you're having a good month. Hope you're enjoying your life. Hope you're giving some time for yourself and doing things you like to do. I know work can get in the way of things, but it's always good to find time for yourself. So by that, I mean hobbies, interests, goals, family, relationships, friends, creative outlets. Last night I did stand-up. I'm not a comedian, but I did it anyways. That was my second time ever. Just going up in the open mic comedy place free show. And I just uh, you know, I just I just said some shit like I do here. And it was fun. It was something new to try. You know, you gotta you gotta try things in life. You gotta you gotta you gotta try things in life. You know, I tried parasailing in Marco Island. I'll never do that again. Cause I fucking hate heights. But hey, I tried it. Right? Uh, I've tried roller coasters, but every time I've gotten on roller coasters, they never get easier. So I said, fuck that for the rest of my life. Um, I tried cold showers, and I keep doing those because they help. So you mean you'd rather take a cold shower every day than get on a roller coaster ever again? That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Um, Tried... uh, Heroin, don't recommend trying that. You know. Everything in moderation. Even heroin? Absolutely. Tell your friends. Tell your kids. Pass it around. It's good for you. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so excited for this month. Also, I have my best friend's wedding. Get to be a fucking uh, groomsman kid. So, uh. Definitely going to look like I'm in the mafia. I think my suit is, yes, all black. Like, even the shirt's black. Uh, So the only thing that won't be black is my white-ass skin and my gold-ass chain. And, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't really know what else. Talked about sports. Talked about a little bit of spirituality in the mornings. Hobbies. Coffee. Meditating. Uh, got jujitsu tonight. That's always fun, helpful, healthy outlet. See, because I have so much energy and so much aggression that if I don't use my body in a physical way, I'll just go crazy and I'll just fucking blow up. So. That's why I have that outlet and uh, many other reasons as well. You know, confidence builder. It's a good community, social outlet. And, uh, you know, you can choke out your friends. You can fuck people up. But you can also be uh, a peaceful warrior, you know, because it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Fucking love that quote. I'm not a fucking warrior. I'm not like some like tough guy, uh, but that's a cool quote. And I'd rather be a tough guy in peacetime than a fucking soy boy in World War III. That's what that means. All right, so that's it. I got to fucking sell some Medicare or better, better yet, I got to go find some people to rip off. Let's be honest. That's what sales is. One in every 30 calls, I'm probably helping somebody out, but the other 29, I have to, uh, you know, ask for <laughs> forgiveness from from my father above because uh, I'm not helping a lot of people. The company I work for, when they hired me, you're going to help so many people, you're going to change so many lives. I don't think so, dude. I, I, think, I think you're lying. I think this is all uh, a scam. And you just want us to uh, sell plants so you can make money and, and you know, um, what, do you, what do you call this? Um, like, update your kitchen and bathroom in your house. So, um, 
there's definitely a lot of other things I'd rather be doing, but there's a lot of things that don't pay, um, for, you know, at least compared to what I used to do. Like this job is more lucrative, so I'm going to do it for the time being. Got the big insurance season coming up, stacks and paper. Hopefully the borders will open up so I can see some of the world and then report back to you on my findings. All right, good morning. Hope everybody has a good day. Bye.